All right, y'all, so I'm out the shower. I'm about to do my hair, fill my eyebrows, you know, light glam for the day. Um, It's currently like 8.20. My class starts at 9.10, but I need to leave out at like 9 because I got to walk to class. So I'm about to do my hair, light glam, and I'm probably going to speed this part up because I have so many videos where y'all see me do my makeup and hair. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so this is the look for today. Um, I kind of did not get to finish getting ready because it's 8.59, but I'm going to come back home and probably throw some lashes on and fix my makeup up. But this is what I wore. It's a blue jacket, white shirt, um, gray pants. So, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head to class because my first midterm is at 9.10, and I cannot be late for that, so... Okay, y'all, so I just got out of my Spanish class. I'm not even gonna cap. The midterm was kinda hard, bro. And I'm walking backwards so I can get the good lighting, but the midterm was kinda hard. Half of the stuff that was on the study guide was not on the midterm. So I don't know how I'm gonna do. We're gonna see, hopefully I can at least pull a B out, but I don't know. But now I'm about to go to my second class and I'm gonna check with y'all once I get in there. Okay, so I'm currently in the fine arts building for my second class of the day, which is stage management and I don't have a midterm in here. The class locked right now, so I just had time to talk to y'all. But like I was saying, my Spanish midterm was so hard. Like, I don't know. Like, I definitely studied for it. I think I could have studied more. Like, once I looked at the test, I could have studied a little bit harder for it. Um, the tips I would give as far as, like, if you take a foreign language class, um, studying for those tests, I feel like foreign language is mostly just, like, memorization, so try to memorize the stuff. Um, as soon as I get on the test, I write down everything that I've memorized so that, like, I don't blank when I get on the test. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep having to stop the camera because people walking behind me, and I don't know if they want to be in a video or not, so I just stop it. But, yeah, so as soon as I get on the test, I write down every single thing that I memorized just in case I blank so I can just go back to it. And then I feel like also like we had to do fill in the blanks on the test. We had to write like a paragraph in Spanish. So also a suggestion is I use some of the words from the questions or like the fill in the blank for my paragraph. That way I know it's gonna be right because it was on the test in the first place. Um, we also had true or false. That's kind of just like, you just gotta study for that. Cause it was true or false based on like culture. So it was like, is it basically in Spanish, but it was like, is it true that this is a traditional meal? So that's kind of like something you got to study on your own. But I feel like foreign language is mostly just like um, memorization and just try to utilize the stuff on the paper at your advantage. But yeah, I'm gonna go over here, um, try to study for my math exam because I started practicing last night, but I didn't get to practice as much for that because I was studying for Spanish. So I'm gonna try to practice my math exam because that's the class that I have after this one. All right, so I just got out of my fine arts class and I'm sitting outside. I'm waiting for my friend to get out of class too because we're gonna go to the library together because it's currently like 
11 o'clock. My math class is until 12, so I'm about to utilize this little hour to get some more studying in. And I don't know if y'all could tell, but from that last clip, I um was studying in class because like she don't she don't really be tripping like not about us been on computers and stuff. So I was in there watching videos. So I'm gonna keep studying for this little hour, and then I'm gonna be heading on to my math class. And hopefully y'all wish me luck on that math midterm. Hopefully I get an A on it. So yeah. All right, y'all. So we on the way to Founders. Here go my friend here. But um, y'all, first of all, I know y'all see this wind, but it's actually a pretty good temperature. It's like in the 60s today. So that's why I was able to dress a little bit more casual because when it's cold, I just be trying to throw something on and put on a coat. But this wind is something serious. Like, oh my God, it's so windy out here. But yeah, so we're gonna go in here and try to study for a good 40, 50 minutes. Um. I don't know. I'm going to try to get this little information in. One thing I don't suggest when you are preparing for a big test is do not cram. Like, don't be like me, y'all. I should have been studying some of this material, but can't go back in time. It is what it is now. Um, and as far as how I study for math, I do a lot of practice questions and I do watch a lot of math videos. So our professor, we don't get study guides. Like in college, you don't really get study guides. But they'll give you like the concepts that you need to know. So I'm just typing in the concepts on YouTube, watching videos, and then I find pe practice problems with the answers. I do them and then check my answer. If I got it wrong, like go back and rework it or watch my videos. So that's kind of how I study for my math test. But yeah, so we're finna go study. So I just left the library. As y'all can see, I'm out here on the yard. It's campaign season, so people got their boots up. They got their music, their snacks, they drink, their food, you know, campaigning, trying to get the votes. But it's 12 o'clock, so I got to go ahead and head to class. The fun got to stop for a little while. But once I finish my test, I'm going to be right back out here in this nice sunny day, having a good time. Um, I don't know if y'all could hear me in the library, so I'm going to just say what I said again. I was just basically saying... Once you finish studying, doing all the practice you can do, go ahead and pray because sometimes even once you do all the work, you still need the work of God to come through. You know, cause you might go blank or anything on the test. So I'm about to go ahead and go take my test and I'm gonna see y'all when I leave out, let y'all know how it went. Okay, so it's like 12.02 and I'm gonna go in class, but I just wanted to make this suggestion real quick. Cause something that I tend to do a lot is like once I get out and I have a little fun, I have a hard time settling back down, getting focused again. So I'm about to play some soothing music as I walk in here. Keep it playing until like he'd be like, put your phones up. That way I can re like get resettled, get refocused. Cause that was like a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. So just take the time to get resettled, refocused so that I can, you know, perform well on my test. But let me go ahead in here. All right, y'all. So I finished my math test and I'm back in the dorms. I'm about to get some lashes from this girl who sells lashes because I've been walking around like this all day. And at this point, it's unacceptable. So I'm about to get some lashes and put them on and then go to lunch. But as far as my math test, y'all, it was okay. I think I might have got a B on it. Like, most of the stuff I studied, which was on the study guide, was not on there. But some of the stuff was. So it was cool. It was also some extra credit. I made sure to try that. So if I get extra credit point, like, that's just going to help my grade more. Um, tips for math suggestions is try to pace yourself because, like, I know for me, y'all, I was taking my sweet little time on them first, like, five, and I started to run out of time at the end. So just try to pace yourself, work out all your answers, and double-check yourself. And that's pretty much what I say for math um, tests. 
All right, y'all, I'm back and I'm better. Peep the lashes. Real simple, but cute. Um, So now we finna go eat and good old Blackburn, my favorite calf to eat in. So yeah, I'ma see y'all when we get there. All right, so we walking into Blackburn. Um, I hope they got something good, cause I'm hungry. My day over now, I'm doing all my classes. My classes be in between nine and one, and then I got a class from eight to 9.30, and then I have a four to seven tomorrow. So, but pretty chill schedule. Nothing major, you know. Hey vlog, it's about to be spring. And welcome I'm back to my channel. Midterm slash testing tips vlog. Okay, midterms is about to get rough, it's about to get hard, but it's dirty season, baby. Okay. I'm gonna go eat on that note. See y'all later. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we in Blackburn. The food was really mediocre, but that's not new. Y'all, these lashes are so cute. Like, this was a good addition. Y'all, I just love this lighting, the blue, like. Can you not? In my vlog though. So yeah, we bar we're gonna go to the library, come to find out. We're gonna go to the library because I do have another midterm tomorrow. And later on tonight we're going to our friend pageant. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me to see the pageant, a pageant and a pageant at Howard. Also the game. What game? I got Oh, we also going to a basketball game night. to support our friends. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Good oh, vlog on the way, y'all. Stay tuned for real. <laughs> A day in the life of Howard students. LOL. <laughs> All right, y'all, so come to find out, it was a little dirty out here, but I was in class on the dirty. So I mixed it, but pretty much, it's still everybody out here. You see it. So I'm really feeling myself with this lighting, with this blue, with it all, I'm just feeling it. But we about to finally go into Founders. We, um, was on the yard. I don't even know if I told y'all I was going to find this or not, but we was on the yard for a while. Um, just being social, checking out the scene because it was a little dirty out there. So everybody was still out there because the dirty ended at 12, but basically people were still out there for the dirty. So now we're going to go in the founders to study because later on we're going to go to a pageant and probably the boys basketball game because today is, um, what is it, work day? Org night. Or org night for the club. So we're going to go check that out later. So we trying to knock the work out early on in the day. That way we can just enjoy our time later on in the day. But yeah, hopefully I can get some studying done. I'm just like, my energy and like my hypeness today is like up here. <laughs> and I need it to be at least right here so I can study. And it's up here, y'all. So we'll see when I get in here. Might even start editing this video for y'all if I can't really focus on the schoolwork because editing the video, that's still productive. But yeah, we finna go ahead and head in here. All right, y'all. So we changed our mind from going to Founders. We're gonna sit out here on these benches and study. Um, cause it's a pretty day. We're gonna take advantage of it, and I think this is better. Like me going from here to the library, like just won't be able to focus. But I'm still outside getting the sun. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically, I feel like I'm gonna be able to study better sitting outside. So I'm gonna try to tap into it, listen to some music. And I'm gonna check back in with y'all once I get some studying done. All right, update. So I don't know if y'all can peep the obvious, but the sun has went down and it's cold out here. So we finna head to my room. First of all, I need to get a different jacket at this point cause it's cold. Um, I also need to get my phone charger cause this morning, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I really ran out the house on some quick stuff and I left my charger, all my stuff. So I need to go back in my room. Oh no. I need to go back in my room and regroup. Just get my charger, get a bigger coat, just take care of some stuff before we head out. Cause the pageant started at five and it's about to be four. So once I do all that, then I'm gonna um, come back on the camera and we're gonna go to the pageant y'all. So after I just um, chilled a little bit, ate a snack, as y'all can see, I changed my jacket because it's a little bit colder. So I put on my little windbreaker. Um, 
We about to Uber to the little venue where the game is. I mean, not game, the, the venue where the pageant is. And I'ma see y'all when I get there. We out here and y'all will be surprised at how bipolar the weather is. It literally is okay, going wind like crazy and it's about to rain. So like, I don't understand. But we waiting for our little Uber out here. We went far over to get here, and then really the we're gonna head to the pageant. But yeah, we at the pageant. Um, yeah, we're we at the pageant. I forgot to film when I first got here, but we're here now. All right, y'all. So we in the Uber, and we on the way back to campus, so we can stop and get some dinner real quick before we go to the game. Um, what time is it, y'all? Um, about seven. Six fifty-seven. It's six fifty-seven. So we finna eat real quick because org night starts at seven thirty, and we don't want to miss it. So we are gonna hurry up and get some food in our stomach, and we are gonna head over to the game. All right, y'all. So we back outside. We on the way to the game now. Um. Got me some ice cream, but I think it's spoiled. So I might not be eating this for long. This is my bestie, y'all. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, we finna head to the game. So stay tuned. Hey, push me. From Booker Vuitton, Florida, wearing number 32, the Wayne Richardson. A freshman from Upper Harbor, Maryland, wearing number 32, Gabriel Jimmy you guys so i am back in my room after a very 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 long day y'all and it is like going on 11 30 and i'm not about to go to sleep just yet because i have to study for a midterm that i have tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead and take my shower and stuff so that i can just study until i fall asleep but this basically concludes the video i hope you guys were able to get some good healthy tips as far as studying for midterms finals just any test in general make sure that you guys are not stressing yourselves out um make sure that you start studying ahead of time so that you don't have to cram and things like that but before i close out the video as you guys know i have to do my words by z and to ba wow today i basically just want to talk about well first i'm gonna share two things with you guys so first as of today, I am fasting, so I am not drinking anything but water for 40 days. And also, to go along with the fast, I have to do one nice thing. I mean, of course, like, if I can, I would do more than one nice thing, but I have to deliberately do one nice thing um, for these 40 days. So, I just challenge you guys to give up something for 40 days, and as you're giving it up, also do something nice for somebody along those 40 days also and also before i close out the video i have to do my post notification shout outs so let me go look at that real quick and i'll be right okay so the post notification shout out for today goes to stella cella um thank you so much for the support i definitely appreciate it if you guys want a post notification shout out make sure you like comment subscribe and turn on those bell buttons so that my post notification come on comment done when you do all of those things and i will give you a post notification shout out but you guys that basically concludes the video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more videos